I'm Laura, I'm with Zaz and Ohm Designs, and um, today I'm going to show you how I make my kick ass tumbler chuck, tumbler turner chuck. I don't know what else to call it, um, but basically, it's the part that holds the um, the turner or the tumbler onto the turner and helps it turn. A lot of times you'll see these footballs attached to PVC pipe. Um, I've tried these. Um, the footballs tend to break down or, you know, I didn't cover them or whatever. And actually they actually, they start to, over time anyway, they start to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And I've had issues sometimes with um, tumblers falling off. Sometimes. Um, but more more of the issue for me is, is what it's like on the inside of the cup for me especially if this paint starts to come off if I haven't covered it um, or whatever I'm just not real happy with the footballs I know they're only a dollar the PVC is cheap um, but I found another option that actually really locks in the um, the tumblers to the to the chuck itself um, and I've came, I've come up with um, some options too with this uh, thumb. This is a silicone. Whoops. This is a silicone finger cup, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this in a minute. So, here's the here's the football. We're getting rid of it. All right. It's good for if you're doing painting or whatever, and you want to hold on to it. That's fine. But I don't like sticking it inside the cup, and I'm I'm done with the footballs. So, what am I going to do here? So the first thing I have is I have this, they call this a compression donut. You'll find this in the hardware section. I picked these up at Lowe's, um, a lot cheaper. Well, there's one other brand that's not, that's about $2 more expensive at Lowe's, but the Fernco, uh, two inch by one and a half inch compression donut is what I picked up here. And this is made to fit inside a two inch pipe. Um, and then have a, a one and a half inch pipe go inside of it. So, in order to convert this, you need what's called a bushing reducer. Make sure you get the right size. Make sure you get the one and a half inch, not the two inch, uh, because the two inch will not fit inside here. I use a one and a half or a one half inch PVC pipe. Some people use three quarter inch. Make sure you, you're getting the right size bushing for whatever type of pipe you're using. If you're using pipe. Um, if you're using one of those spinets, you might have to, um, which I don't, I made my own spinner or my own turner and, um, I'm going to be doing a YouTube video on that as well. So the first thing you want to do is you can, well, you can take this, this stuff off and now you can see it. And just to give you an example, here is a hog tumbler, um, that I have. It's one of the, the football shaped ones. And as you can tell, it slides right in there, holds it really good, and actually covers that entire um, lip of the cup. Now, I will tell you, um, I found out from somebody that uh, was in the plumbing department yesterday at Lowe's that these are made to be a tight fit. So, but if for some reason it gets stuck inside your cup, all you have to do is heat it up a little bit and it should come out. And most of us have heating tools for that. Um, it will also fit down inside. This is a 40 ounce Ozark Trail. It also fits down in here. I'm not going to put that in there just yet because I need to do some measurements. But I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, this is one of the 20 ounce skinnies with the, the screw on lid. Um, I'm not sure this is, this is small enough. For that but I have another well it would probably work yeah it's not really coming off but just to be on the safe side I don't think I would use it with this, something like this something with such a skinny um, a skinny opening and so little around the cup but I'm going to show you how I handle that in just a bit so first things first Let's deal with this. This, by the way, this fits most of the Ozark Trail cups, the 30s, the 40s. It gets down inside there and it fits inside there. Um, the 20s, it works. Even the, the little 10 ounce low balls, it works with those as well. Um, and obviously it works with this 
this barrel cup um, but with with some of the smaller diameter cups it's not gonna work because it is about two inches it's it's made to fit a two inch uh, pipe unfortunately they don't make these any smaller um, that I found yet they may if they do I might be getting them but nonetheless so what you want to do is take this bushing reducer it's called a bushing reducer and so this part fits in this one and a half inch section this part is um, reducing it to one and one half inch pipe PVC pipe and so the first thing you want to do is you just want to put this bushing in there it's a little bit of a tight squeeze and it's made to be which is good because that means it's grabbing around that reducer so you don't even have to glue this We'll be getting into the gluing part in just a minute here, but you don't even have to glue this. It is that tight. Um, had to bring it closer to me. Sorry, I went off camera there. Um, all right, so there you go. Now, how to use this. So my, my turner has a fitting on it that is threaded. I prefer the threaded fittings as often as possible simply because... Um, it's easier to man to manipulate um, what you're doing. So my turner has this. I am considering converting it over to a uh, male threaded fitting just so I could do this with it. Um, and then you're done. My issue with this though is that that doesn't leave a lot of room between where this part comes out of the turner. So what I decided to do was add a wand and the wand is just an ex or an extension wand extension portion or whatever and the other reason for this is something I want to show you where um, I'm gonna make a little stand so that you can stand the cup up um, and spray paint it um, without holding it because I go through a lot of gloves by holding on to my cup so anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on one end of my pipe, which I have here. And you're also going to, oh, I should tell you, you should have a pipe cutter. I use this big pipe cutter. If you don't have a pipe cutter, you can use a circular saw. It's a little difficult, um, especially since usually the blades are made for wood and not plastic. Just be careful. This stuff will fly around if you're using a saw. Um, I've used a specialty blade on... A miter saw you do have to be careful especially if you're cutting the small pieces so I tend to gravitate towards this thing it's a little bigger than um, what you might see the cheaper ones are about this size so the reason I like this one is that it doesn't require as much effort to cut the pipe um, the one thing I will tell you though is that when you cut the pipe with one of these tools whether it's a small one or a little one where you go around the pipe it will create this ball around the edge of it that you'll have to sand off which you should be sanding off the pipe anyway um, before you do any gluing to it so um, before we do any gluing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this and I want to get a measurement because I want to see how far down into this big 40 ounce Ozark trail cup I need to be so that I can make my extension wand and make my cut so I've stuck it down in there and this does not have to be perfect by the way and as you can see it's holding on to that Ozark trail cup real nicely look at that I'm even shaking it and it's not coming off um, yeah this is this is gonna be good I've been looking for something that can even hold these so um, and not give me a lot of trouble this cup isn't finished obviously um, but anyway so that's what I want to do I want to make sure that I've got enough whoops um, I've got enough extension on this so that when I attach this to my turner it's not going to hit anything um, any wood or anything so I think what I'll do is for this I think I'm gonna cut it right about because this part needs to be able to slide onto something so I think I want it to be right about where that two is maybe there just to be on the safe side 
And this will actually make a pretty good wand for those smaller cups as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to do it there. All right, so now all you have to do is cut it. So the way I use this, this pipe cutter is you want to just um, get your pipe cutter in there and um, get it to the spot where you want, want it to be cut. If you're cutting small pieces, I recommend starting with a, a larger piece of pipe just so you can get a good um, a good grip on it because you're going to be turning this. Okay, so there it is. It's right near where I would want it to be. Let me slide it up just a little bit, and of course I have a bug crawling on me right now. I'm outside. I love being outside. I have a bug crawling on me right now, so getting distracted here. I'm going to take this off too, just because. And look at that, it's wiggling the whole thing. Sorry about that. Alright, so you don't want to tighten it down too much, but what it does is it scores the, the, um, the pipe so that you can cut it. And then you just turn a little bit more and turn it a little bit more. until you get your pipe cut. And like I said, this is this is my preference um, for cutting the pipes with this big pipe cutter. This is not made for this small pipe, but I like it because it makes um, what I do a lot simpler and easier. All right. So as I mentioned before, when you cut them, it makes this teeny tiny little ball. So what you want to do is you want to sand that down. And I forgot to bring my sandpaper over here, so I'm going to pause the video for just a minute and grab that. Alright, so we're back. I'm back. There's no we here except for my, my puppy dogs. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this um, down. And this is good also for the... Uh, gluing process. So I'm just going to sand this down just a little bit. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to sand the other side. Just like so. Roughing it up in a little bit. This is 400 grit. It could be it could be whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to sand inside these fittings as well. And so that roughens up the, the pipe. And the peanut gallery agrees. Sorry about that. I have dogs. Um, gonna roughen this one up. All right, that's good enough. So now I'm going to I'm just going to use the self priming uh, PVC cement and I'm going to try to stop hitting the camera. Um, this is a single step. There's some that you need to primer and I think it's purple primer and then you use it. I just got this. It, it This isn't for an actual plumbing job. So I'm not that worried about it. Um, less steps are better. I've had this thing for quite a while. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here inside each of these fittings a little bit of of this cement you don't need to do a lot and this will hold hold these pieces together so that you don't have any failures if you if you're worried about wasting your um, your fittings the other thing you can do which is, is perfectly fine as as well as you can tape these so you're not actually making a connection so but I'm not going to do that so I'm just putting a little bit of, of um, cement in there and it doesn't take long and it this also helps lubricate the inside too and you want to kind of just turn it until you feel it starting to resist a little bit okay all right so that side's done so now I'm going to do this side. And one of the reasons why I like to thread it is because it gives me options. I can just make little adapters like this and, and I'm good to go. 
So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This side has more of a burr on the end of the pipe, so it's resisting me just a little bit more. And there you go. And now you have made an extension. Okay? So this part goes on here for the um, Ozark, the big Ozark Trail cups, or if you're going to use it for holding on to it. That, that's a nice little extension feature there. But we're not done yet. So there's one other thing that I like to do to these, especially since in this particular instance, let me get this cement out of here. Especially in a situation like this, where you can literally push that thing in there. Oh, now it doesn't want to go all the way down, but that's fine. So you stick this on the cup and it gets messy if you have paint or whatever. So one of the ways you that people have handled the, the football situation is to simply just take a glove and wrap around it. If I can get this around there. And this is good for keeping your um, chuck cleaner. Um, you can just replace the, the glove when it gets real nasty or whatever. And it still fits really nicely inside these cups, okay? So that's one way to handle it. Try not to get your own glove stuck in there. So that's one way to handle it. Um, this isn't particularly the cleanest way for me, especially since it can get folded up if the glove isn't really tight. I guess you could get smaller gloves or whatever. This doesn't really work for me. Um, I'm okay with this getting a little bit dirty. But I found a better solution. I'm going to show that to you right now. So I picked up these silicone finger cots from Amazon. Um, I don't use the thumb finger cots. I guess I could. They do fit. They fit right on my finger. But they're not very tight. Um, and I'm worried they'll fall off while I'm doing stuff. But I guess you could use them. But the nice thing about these is that they stretch a lot. And, and these thumb ones in particular are a really good size for this. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to cut a hole, or I'm going to cut the tip off of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try not to make it so that it will rip. Or at least when you're wrapping it around, so because these can rip. But what I like about the silicone is that the epoxy doesn't stick to it. And, and it, the spray paint comes off really easy. These are really easy to clean. See that? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this finger cot around it. Okay. And this helps protect the, the fittings as well as you're doing um, your painting. Um, your epoxying, whatever. Um, what I find is that with the silicone, though, it will, since it's it's like a non-stick surface, so as long as you only have a little bit inside the cup, you're okay. And in this particular cup, you may want to scoot it all the way up. But that silicone is really helpful to keep this thing clean. And so there it is. Now you have, well, I guess I could have scooted the silicone down a little farther, but now you have a silicone coated uh, tumbler turner. And that's it. I love this thing. I love it. Because I can just clean it and it's good to go. Ready for the next one. So I want to make a few more of these. 
Um, I hope you found this information useful. I sure did when I found all the different little tidbits online. Thank you ever so much, Internet, for your uh, just immense amount of knowledge out there. So I just thought I'd add to it. Y'all have a fabulous day. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.